Welcome back to an encrypted game playthrough of Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V. So we have just gotten out of the cave, basically the tutorial part of the game. And here we are. Whoa! There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwoods, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Thank you. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You probably wouldn't have. It's probably best if we split up. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. So, was that dragon on your side? What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? Yeah, no kidding. I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. Why were you being executed? Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. I don't pay much attention to current events. Oh, right. They said you were captured crossing the border. Still, I'm surprised you haven't heard of Ulfric. He's our leader. The leader of the Stormcloaks. And who are the Stormcloaks? Surely, even down in Cyrodiil, people have heard news of the war in Skyrim. The Nords are tired of spending our blood fighting the Empire's wars. And paying for the Empire's decadence with our taxes. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He's leading the fight to drive the Empire out of Skyrim, once and for all. How did you end up as an Imperial prisoners? I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen. And you know the Do rest. Do you really think I should join up with Ulfric Stormcloak? Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. You think Ulfric knows where that dragon came from? Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. You make a good case. Maybe I will go to Windhelm. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, we'd better get moving. like we are going to talk to Girder in Riverwood. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. See that 
ruined up there. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Deep stone, we got mage stone, and we got a warrior stone. I'll be taking the warrior stone. These are the guardian stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Warrior, good. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. Smithing in this game. I'll be smithing, uh, tailoring, which is part of smithing. I'll probably, most likely be doing alchemy because I like making my own healing potions instead I'm of having to find to them. We're almost to Riverwood. Let me take a look at this water. Oh, a nerd root. Cool. Oh yeah, and if you see any, uh, salmon, you can actually catch them and eat them. It's pretty cute. Cool. So, how do I join the Stormcloaks? Ulfric's capital is Windhelm, northeast of here. You'll want to talk to Galmar Stonefist, Ulfric's right-hand man. He handles the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word if I get to Windhelm ahead of you. We better keep moving. All right, sounds good. I don't want to run into any Imperials to you know what happened at Hell. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. No. Well, I'm sure you could help me out. How do you know him? Oh. Uh, we escaped from the Imperials you did? together. We heard that Ulfric was captured. No, sorry. But in times like these, I can't just take the word of a stranger who wanders into town claiming to be my brother's friend. Huh. A dragon attacked Helga and destroyed it. Rayloth and I a escaped dragon together. In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. The dragon flew off this way. You're right. You must have I seen. saw it, but how's that possible? Dragons don't exist. They're just stories from long ago. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. 
Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Gerdin. Absolutely. Brother, Mara's mercy. I'm glad to help. It. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I, I can. Take. Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. Great. Oh, well, we'll just take basically everything. But is it safe for you to be here? Won't the Imperials be looking for you? Girder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. You're right. Follow me. Pod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. you guys to let me know if you want me to uh, do all my smithing and crafting and everything on camera or if I can go ahead and just cut that out I told you my sister would help us out I'm going to rest up here a while before heading to Windhelm. Be careful. Hmm. Must be a glitch. They're supposed to be talking right now. Oh, well, no big deal. has to do something I said no no adventures no theatrics no thief chasing well what are you going to do then huh let's hear it we are done talking about this oh <clears throat> a customer <laughs> sorry you no had problem. to hear that yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard but the Riverwood trader is still open feel free to shop so uh did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You know, I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those... The sooner you find... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town.
This way. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Trolls? I ain't seen a troll in these parts, lady. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Oh, good luck to you, lady. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe... Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You hope? You don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Mm -hmm. Farewell. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch Ain't protectors. every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Fendel wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla and say it was from you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. 
as if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fatal? Here, I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. Well, I don't think that I'll go give it to her. Or no. I will. I'll just say that uh, he wrote Mara it. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Sven wanted to trick you in believing this letter was from Fendel. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fendal wrote this? Yeah. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fendal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Good luck. Lucan I'll and I will be waiting Fendel. for you back in the shop. like I'll have to wait. Hmm. Maybe he is awake. There you are. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some well, gold I've saved help. up from working at the mill. Lead the way. Still here. What do you want me to carry? nothing for now. Here, can you train me to be a better archer? Hmm. I'll show you what I know. Lead on. Alright, we're gonna go back to that cave that we kinda missed out on up here, guys. For this cave and we get back to the city I think we'll call it a quits for tonight need to go to bed and get up early I 
I've got your back. Things with you. What do you want me to carry? Well, for starters, you can have this and equip it. Much better. Let's get going then. Don't like the looks of this. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Take that. No, I put both these. Ooh, no. got over here.
Let's see. I thought there was one more guy up here. Oh well. drawn back there. Looks like I might be stuck. Well, they made this world. small details like that that make a game look more real. Got your back. What do you want me to carry? You lead, I'll follow. Let's do a little cooking.
He doesn't need all this food. He's with me. See if I can make anything. Because I know the stews are the best things to make. You need salt. Good. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? I'll follow. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to call it quits here, guys. Do hope that you guys enjoyed this playthrough I will be posting up more videos soon so please comment rate and subscribe <laughs>